Have you ever had red zap blue? It tastes like that with pee. How's it going, guys? I'm Tim. And I'm Dylan. We have something from Lagunitas for you today. We have Citrusenensis Pale Ale. However you pronounce that. It's a pale ale brewed with natural blood orange juice based out of Pataluma, California slash Chicago, Illinois. 7.9% ABV. That's very high for a pale ale. It's actually pretty damn high for a pale ale. <laughs> It's part of their 2016 one-hitter series. <laughs> oh. uh, this is a series of rare beers brewed in our smallest fermenters. All our experiments. Liquid ideas. Oh, man. That's about all it says. We have a liquid idea in our hands. There's no shame in being a one-hit wonder. It's hard to be right even once. Oh. Okay. Anything on the back over here? 23 years of edgy brewing at the edge of brewing. <laughs> Okay. All right, log this. Let's pour it. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Oh wow, it's super, super greasy looking. I poured the shit out of it. Yeah, dude, you poured it like an asshole. So, after that rude interruption, we're back with their Lagunitas Citrus Sinensis thing. Pale ale. I'm gonna sniff it. Harry did. It honestly doesn't smell like an IPA like I expected it to. No, it's it's very blood orangey. There's a ton, ton, ton of citrus flavors, citrus smells in the nose. But it doesn't smell like an IPA. No, it doesn't. I wouldn't expect it to. It's a pale. With the way pales are going these days. This is also very true. Most pale ales I've tasted lately have basically been IPAs. You get a little bit of a, a bitter hop on the nose, but nothing like super specific. It's mostly just blood orange and all over the place. Yeah, ignore the background noise, by the way. If there is any, hopefully there's not any. Yeah. It's incredibly, incredibly carbonated. Just throwing that out and there. And very yellow. Very yellow. It looks almost greasy in character. So this should be really, really interesting because... It's probably the blood orange pro juice. Probably. They actually use juice instead of just throwing blood oranges in it? Yes. The... It's weird how carbonated it is considering considering that it's such a decent ABV. It's almost eight. Right. So it, the fact that it is eight. as carbonated as it is, it's crazy. Well, let's go for the taste. Not worthy. But anyway. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Oh god damn. There's a lot of blood orange juice taste. There's a lot of blood orange. There's a lot. It's almost like it's like pulp floating in there. Like it's definitely not filtered. Not not super filtered. But like holy crap. My mouth is like juicy right now. Huh. It's like blood orange mixed with an IP, like a session IPA flavor. Almost. I can, I can see that. There's like I think the juice covers up a lot of the the, the um, bitterness, and it's all yep. malt backbone. Like there's still like it's malt. It's not malt backbone, but bitter backbone right. at the end of it. That was a horrible choice of words. <laughs> it's all good. Oh wow, this is, this is actually really really good. I know it's really drinkable for eight percent. That's a problem. All right. Which will be a tiny, tiny burn, but nothing really... Well, that's probably the juices enhancing Probably. That. But nothing really, like, to write home about. Nothing, like, to really honestly complain about. Ooh. It's really, really good. Oh, wow. I don't know whether I'm just desensitized to the taste of IPAs at this point. Well. Or if it's actually kind of bitter. Well, we'll find <laughs> out when we have one coming up soon. Okay. Because one of those is an IPA that we're doing. Okay. We'll be back in a little while yeah, we're gonna, with our final thoughts. Yeah, it's going to be pretty bit. good. Oh, yeah. Kill it. Dylan. Oh, I guess I guess we're back. Is that, is that a thing that's happening right now? Okay. So we're back for the final thoughts on Lagunitas Citrusinensis. Big thumbs up. However you pronounce that. Pale ale. It's a pale blood <laughs> orange. I fucking 8% almost. Oh, wow, yeah. It's amazing. You can feel the 8%. You can. You can. It's definitely 
more drinkable than it should be. It's a fantastic pale ale. And I love the blood orange. You love it. We, we at, on this channel, have a, have a have an erection for blood orange. It's pretty throbbing. It's just... We have a raging clue. <laughs> a clue. <laughs> oh, that never... reference. That reference. Anyway. For those of you that get that like the video. Please do. Subscribe. Leak, comment, and subscribe. You know what's up. Anyway. Thoughts? My thoughts? Mm -hmm. I mean, they've been pretty consistent. I mean, I said most of them earlier, and they've been they've been true. It's it's a great pale. I like that it has a little bit of IPA flavor to it because it is. It's a lot of citra. There's a lot. At the of bottom, citra. there's a lot of IPA flavor. Yes, it's it's like what almost all citra. Yes. Okay. It, it's like it's super <laughs> citrusy, super just fruity. There's very little actual bitterness, and it's very malty. There's a nice malty backbone to it. To the very bottom. It's, it's, yeah, it gets more bitter at the bottom. But it's... I noticed it's slightly unfiltered. Yes. There's something floating in there. Whether it's pulp from the blood orange juice, or whether it's, you know, shit from the beer, we don't know. Could be anything. But it is, you know, it's a little chunky. It's not too bad, though. It's the little tiny things floating around in there. Um... My thoughts haven't changed at all. I mean, no. I, I think this is a beer where I can give the final thoughts before the final chug. Yeah. It's it's kind of a boring review because it's just it's just a solid beer and it's a consistent beer. It's not complex, it's No, it, it is what it is. Like it's not it's exactly what it's supposed to be. I feel like it's be. a good spring like fire beer. Oh yeah, dude, completely. Personally. Yep. I have I have nothing to really say about it. Ninety four. I'll give it a ninety four as well. We'll just we'll just do that. Because it's really good. Right, it's fantastic. I'm okay with it. <sighs> so drinkable. So good. Reminds me of breakfast. Because of that blood orange. I was going to say, it, there's no like maple or <laughs> anything in this, but okay. So I think the same thing with like grapefruit stuff. Yeah, it's like... Like I ruby red grapefruit is my breakfast drink. It's like the orange juice that you have at breakfast. That's good. Alright, 94, 94. Kill the video!